Hello, and welcome to another episode of the research page. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the very first tool or piece of gear that I wanted to create when I started embarking in the journey that is filmmaking, the common slider. Now, with multiple companies varying across all kinds of budgetary constraints, you have friction sliders like the IGUS, you have ex just extremely expensive sliders like a, uh, like a Kessler or a Cinevate. I wanted to be able to take a slider that would be mobile, diverse enough that I can break it down and put it right back up. It can be mounted high or it can go all the way to the ground with little to no effort and or setup. What I came up with is in my particular instance, I am using a rig whales kit. However, I'm gonna give you all the alternatives to make almost a near identical slider to what I use, all for right around $100. Now, we start out the slider with a few basic materials. First starts with your ever trusty trip to Lowe's. We went to Lowe's and we found one and five sixteenths diameter chromoly curtain rod. We bought two eight-foot sections of said rod. Then we moseyed our way on over to our ever-trusty PVC aisle. We got four 90-degree, one-inch PVC elbows, and then four 90-degree, one-inch PVC elbows with the one-inch outlet. Then a small piece of scrap one-inch PVC that we had staying around the house, and we now have all the materials we need for the track itself tack on a small piece of scrap plywood and we have the entire rig. Now you bring all your materials home and we take our two eight foot sections. You will cut them down to whatever size it is you desire. For me, it was six feet. Now we've got our six foot sections and we have two feet per rod available extra. We're gonna take one of those scrap sections and we're gonna cut two pieces, five and a quarter inch long. This is gonna be for our end brackets. Now, all you need is these four pieces of chromoly tubing and either four 90 degree angle one inch PVC elbows or four 90 degree angle one inch PVC elbows with the outlet. This will create both alternatives to how we will actually mount this. On the first scenario, in which we will have the 90 degree elbows with outlets, we have four four inch sections of just straight PVP, PVC. We tuck that PVC into the outlet, and as you can see here, it now stands on its own and gives plenty of clearance that you can actually put the slider directly on the ground and run from dirt level. For an alternative, what we found was this right here. This is a one and three eighths inch brace rail clamp. This can be found in your gardening section inside of your local hardware store. When you have two of these, what this allows you to do is take your five and a quarter inch piece section of chromoly tubing Add two 90 degree ends and just a stock piece of PVC. And now with one of these on each end, you append this to your six inch chromoly rails and you're able to slide this right on top of whatever light stand you may use. Now, whereas light stands come in varying shapes and sizes, in order to accommodate for the different diameters, you can just take other PVC tube and shove it inside. So whereas this is an one inch ID, you can take a piece of three quarter inch PVC, which has a one inch OD, slide your three quarter in, and now you have just tightened up your diameter. And you can continue to stagger down through all the various sizes of PVC until you have a snug fit on whatever stand it is that you would like to use. You use your heavy duty light stands, you can lift this bad boy all the way up to the ceiling and actually get a perfect glide. 
Now, the carriage itself, as we've seen in a previous episode of the research page, of which link will be in the description, I did do an unboxing of the Rig Wheels Kit 2. That kit did come with two cheese plates. How are we going to take a Rig Wheels kit and for next to no money create the same product? Simple. All you need to do is take a simple sheet or scrap of plywood and cut two 8 inch by 8 inch squares. Of these 8 inch and 8 inch squares, just mark, set yourself a mark, a half inch in all the way around. Where your lines intersect, you drill your holes. Now you have a 7 inch center to center cheese plate. Put a 3 8 or quarter inch hole in the center of it, and then you can go ahead and mount your fluid head, your ball head, whatever you have. After that, all it simply is, is a matter of getting some extra hardware and mounting it just like I have here and what you will see with my rig wheels. So two pieces of scrap plywood, a few extra bolts, the, cast, the, uh, the wardrobe wheels, which you should see a link in the description to, for under $20 for a set. And you are flying. Um, the examples should pretty much speak for themselves. And the versatility of this, being able to break this down, take this anywhere you like, go to the ground and go to the sky, that in and of itself should be worth at least a peek. This is definitely my choice in slider. And I will not be breaking down and buying a Kessler or a Canova or anything else. There is no slider that I've touched that comes even close to the versatility of what I myself have built. And I have been to the Igus Trialing Factory. Sorry, Igus. Better luck next time. Okay. So we've reached that time in the episode where I have to bring things to a close. If you like what you've seen her in, please comment, rate, and or subscribe. This is JR saying thank you for again for watching another episode of the research page. And I will, as always, catch you next week.